Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Rectic, and today we're going to be getting ourselves some netherite armor and also building ourselves a simple mob farm. So, I hope you guys are ready. Today, I want to do a little bit of netherite hunting. We're jumping right in and going just straight for it. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bright in here. That's because I have the night vision on. I know you guys are going to want to be able to see a little bit better. Um, I know the videos can get kind of dark. Um, it's it's usually fine on my end. And then as soon as I upload it to YouTube, YouTube does a weird compression thing where they take my like huge eight gig file uh, that is exported at a really high bit rate. And of course they take it down to what their bit rate standards are, which honestly is not that great for gaming videos. Games with, fa uh, games with fast motion. Um, it just, I don't know. I, you think YouTube so being a better supporter of gaming stuff, they would, they would have, you know, a better system for that. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not a professional like those people are. So they, they should, they should know better than me. But anyways, um, I'm going to wear this ring and, uh, you know, we're going to have some bright skies, bright, uh, fog in the distance, but I think the night vision is going to help out a lot. Also, you might be wondering, why does my FOV look like I am in Quake Pro right now? I'm technically not. Um, this um, Aglet of the Traveler really does change your FOV, and it just makes it go crazy. So that's that's another thing. But anyways, I'm going down because we have to go down to about Y level 15, and that's where we are probably going to encounter the most um, netherite. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for ancient debris, not really netherite. We're looking for ancient debris. And when we find ancient debris, then we can convert that into netherite. But uh, right now, I have some diamond armor on. Um, I did mine up enough diamonds. And so my kit right now, what I have is I have a golden helmet. I bought a mending book. And then this thing, I ended up enchanting it and ended up getting protection two, which technically, I think that that equals protection seven. Basically, or no, it'd be protection six, which is just crazy. Um, this has protection five. I, I wish the numbers were actually worded that way, but it's not. It's like an Omega version. Um, and then down here, we just have a standard setup, and this is unbreaking. So I just kind of wanted to go, and that was really cheap. Like, I didn't use hardly any levels at all to do that. I think I had like 22 levels, and I think I wiped some levels. So. It's pretty crazy how the enchanting stuff is right now, but you can only imagine once we have a full table, because, man, the, the full table is going to be even crazier. But I'm heading all the way down, like I said, to Y level 15. And once we get there, ore excavation is going to become our friend. Well, uh, this is this is my tunnel. <laughs> We've already found, I don't know if it's one. It's, it's just one. Just one. There's There's nothing else around. So that's the thing, but we still just, wow, we managed to at least find one. Now, if I look on my map, you see we're at level 20. Um, it can spawn higher, it can. It's a, there's a very low chance though of it spawning at that height. But we wanna be at like Y level uh, 15 because that is where we're gonna have the highest chance of things spawning. Wow, is this a mine shaft smoldering mines? Wait, what? Please tell me there's loot chests in here, and then if there are, please let it have netherite in it. What? Now this is this is honestly pretty cool. This is pretty cool, and if this shows like netherite, that would be pretty nice. Blackstone is another material that I really want to get mined up. I I really do love the look of blackstone, and it's it's going to definitely have some good uses here in the future. Ooh, might as well grab these torches too. Just as I thought, there's there's actual carts down here. I have something good. It does have nether related items in it. I don't know if it's because we have night vision. Wow, I'm finding these all over the place. I mean, right there. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely take the gold. Yeah, the gold's useful. So I just found this enchanted book called The, the Curse of Gigantism. Um... I don't know what that is, but we're going to have to see what that's about because it sounds fun, even though it's a curse. And yet again, I just found several more enchanted books. This is sharpness five. Okay. 
And the other one's like knockback and projectile protection. Not too interested in that, but that was sharpness. By the way, there are so many of these. It's, it's crazy. There's so many. You see all the purple dots? That's how many chests, loot chests there are down here. And there's a lot. So I finally made it back to my staircase and uh, wow. Already ancient debris. Uh, I, man. So I'm going to keep harvesting. I'm going to basically mine myself out of tunnel for right now. And uh, then we're going to start using the ore excavate. I mean, that's like for things like this, like we can just ore excavate it out. So I decided to go back because I wanted to see what this actually does. This curse of gigantism. And I did read, if you hit L, you can open this up and it says right here, find the rare curse of gigantum, gigantism book, which can be used to power up a hammer at the cost of speed. Now, I'm, I'm sure we're going to end up finding more, but it says to power up the hammer at the cost of speed. How much more powerful is this hammer? It's pretty slow now. Oh, so it mines out a five by five. Okay, so because this has a curse on it, can I put efficiency on here? That's another question. So like, if I make another obsidian hammer, for example, and I enchant it with some lapis, and say I put, I don't know, see if I can't get a decent enchant on it. Like, say, just to put just to put efficiency on here. Can I combine these? Because it would be really nice to have, like, efficiency and have that on there. Okay, so I can. So, whenever I get more levels, which we're going to work on here soon, I'm going to do that. And then we can probably make it way faster, at least normal speed. And then we can mine out a huge, like, what, one, two, this is bigger than five by five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no, it is a five by five. We can, we can mine out a five by five instead of a three by three area with just the hammers. I think that's worth it. So I've been doing a lot of mining and I was thinking, can I try this adamantite pickaxe now that I've, I'm sure I've mined up enough resources for it. Actually, just enough resources from the looks of it. Uh, this right here is something that I definitely want to get my hands on. So let's hope that we have everything for it. I think we do. There we go. And an adamantite pickaxe. Now, it's supposed to be strong, but we're going to find out what exactly the durability is on it and how fast it is. I'm going to be using it to pretty much clear out more stone. Um, and if I hit F3H, I should be able to see the durability. Oh, it's got, I think it's just about as much durability as a, a netherite pick, which... Uh, it's kind of funny. Well, this pickaxe didn't last very long. Um, it did a good job. It did a good job. But for as expensive as it is, uh, yeah, we're maybe I'm going to throw some mending on this and actually make it a usable tool. So I now have these ancient debris and I was wondering, do I really need a full set? So I have 14, which is still quite a bit. Um, but do I really need this full set? Because I'm only going to be turning these three pieces into netherite. So that leaves me with two left over, and I technically need two more to do a full pick. So what if I throw it in here, which gives a 33% chance of giving us more, right? I, I think that's a, an awesome idea. We have the potential of getting almost four more extra from doing this if it doubles, which it just did. Did you see it? It just doubled a second ago. But will it do it again? Oh, it did it there. Am I right on the four? It did it there again. And. Okay, so we're a little bit unlucky on that one. On that draw, but we did get 17. Um, which means we almost got four. So that means there's a, there is a furnace, by the way, that can give you the even higher output. Um, which is really crazy. Um, like with these furnaces, this right here, there's a chance, like on this emerald, this is dupe chance of 33, dupe chance of 66, dupe chance of 100% on this one. Yeah, 100%. So 
guaranteed to gonna we would get double whatever we put in it. This right here is actually pretty nice. Um, so we didn't have to do too much to do this. So let's go ahead and get some gold. And we're gonna rush ourselves some uh, fantastic. By the way, if you hear the music, I'm gonna talk about that here in a second. I did forget to mention that to you guys. But right after I finished recording yesterday's episode, I was like, huh. After, you know, now that I have this automation set up, I should do something to let me know when something's been made. By the way, here's our nether, right? And that's the recipe for it. And that got us four, which is exactly what we need. Now, we do need a blacksmith's table. Um, not a, not a blacksmith, smith. Smithing table. And we'll just grab that real quick. It's, I know I have wood. <laughs> so that's that's always a problem I end up with. Why do I never have any wood? I I use it all. I, that's exactly why. So, now that we have the smithing table, we can place that down pretty much anywhere. Don't really matter for me. Replace it, uh... How about by the front door? How about right here? I think this is a great place for it. Bam. Perfect. And, uh, I can basically upgrade my pick. So this pick right here, brand new pick, we're going to upgrade it to a netherite pick. And then, I also have my gear here. And even though this is enchanted, it will still carry over its enchants that it has over to the upgraded variant. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now we have some nice netherite armor. So let's talk a little bit about this uh, this sound setup that's going on over here. Um, so if you wanna know how to get these little banners that tell you what note it's currently at, that's just a, te a texture pack. Um, and you can get that from a website called Vanilla Tweaks. Um, you can find that by going to Exumavoid's website, if you might know him from the Hermit Crafters. Um, or basically, I, I'm pretty sure he's he's like one of the main guys that run Hermitcraft. Um, but anyways, you can go to his website. Absolutely amazing website. Lots of really cool Minecraft resources there. One of them is a thing that lets you make texture packs that can add subtle fixes to things that really Minecraft should have in it. Um, but this is one that I really like, which is uh, giving notes, actual notes to note blocks. Um, but basically, I kind of went with the, like, Mario death sound. And so this right here is basically a simplified version of the Mario death sound, right? And you you might hear it now once it happens, but it's only activated once this composter actually levels up one. So every time it levels up, that will happen for these guys. There you go. So that is the sounds that it makes, and it's very simple to set these up. Um, these don't take any time at all. By the way, new redstone can do this, if you didn't know that. Look at that. It doesn't really change how it works, it just is a texture change, because this is the new texture, but people that, you know, OGs, they, you know, I think were complaining, or, or they wanted to have the old version still, so they gave you the option to go back and forth. Even though they, instead of doing this, they should have just gave us the ability to invert this redstone signal by clicking on it. <sighs> Lost opportunity there. So I mentioned earlier we were going to be working on experience, and that's exactly what this is going to be. We are now up 128 blocks off the ground. And all of this is going to lead into what is going to be our overworld mob spawner. And this is going to be twofold. It's going to be one, a great source of experiment, uh, experience for us, and uh, another great source of gunpowder resources, bone mill resources, rotten flesh resources, pretty much everything that you would get from normal mobs, minus one, and that is Enderman. Uh, but we don't need Enderman, we have a cleric. And as so long as we have zombies, we have an infinite resource to trade for emeralds to, uh, to get those uh, ender pearls, so no need for that. And uh, how are we gonna build this? Well, you basically start here, right? And then we assume that there is going to be um, some chests here, here, um, or actually, usually I put chests on both sides over here, but let's just assume there's gonna be chests on this side for right now. And uh, let's break that. 
And then right here is going to be a bed of hoppers that are going to go into these two chests. And then we're going to consider this our, our base level, right? And from here, we need to go up one all the way up to 24 blocks from this specific block. And we're going to create a ring that goes around just like this. Um, you don't need these corners. I'm actually going to be removing these corners just like this. But we're going to take this design, this, these blocks, and we got to take these exactly 24. Keep that number in mind because that number is actually really important. Because where we're going to be standing is down here. This level needs to be exactly 24 blocks from where your uh, death location's at. So that was a mess. That took too much time because I had to undo everything that I had just done. Yes, this is the mob spawner that uh, I'm gonna be using for a little while. This is actually a really, really good mob spawner. It works fantastic. Um, I have used this so many times and it has always been super promising. Like it, it just works and just that's that's it it just works and uh, making it look good well that's a that's a whole story in its own it, it it's not the greatest looking thing in the world like let's get that straight like it's it's just not going to be and nor will it probably ever be right 
Um, I do need to get out of here. I was thinking about just going down here, but I'm pretty sure... Oh no, we're fine. I just need to kind of glide down. There we go. Okay. Um, so, to get out of here, I'm just going to pop out. Um, up there, it is going... This is going to happen pretty fast. So, I need to actually move out of the way. Get my glass. Get that replaced. And also get my slabs. And I'm pretty sure I closed all the trap doors. And I removed all the torches. So we should be good. We should be good. And this mob spawner should start working any moment. So from the sounds of things, I uh, I must have forgot uh must have forgot something. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the I forgot the oh, the trap doors. I'm kind of scared to go in here because of creepers. Cuz yes, creepers do spawn in here. Let's just open this panel over here up. Um because most mobs should walk this way. Okay. So, all of these guys are down here. Let me go ahead and I can... Looks like I can click on the block. I just need... There we go. There's that side done. And that side. Okay. Woo. That... Was what happens when you're getting... Get, when you get in a hurry. Make mistakes. And that could have been a bad one. Good thing this mob farm, though, is pretty easy to manage. And even if things like that happen, like, it's pretty easy to, uh, to fix. Now, what's gonna happen is they're all gonna start to land down here. As soon as this thing gets going, it really gets going. Now, at the moment, I'm seeing they're all dying. I, I think that is an issue. If it is one block too, too far down, we need to bring our platform one block up. And I think that's the case. I think this is actually too low. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go, let me go ahead and fix that. So one of the first things you're definitely gonna wanna do is turn the volume down, but I did bring this up one block and we're gonna see if that fixes it. It should, just letting these guys in, we should be able to just go ahead and trash most of them. But as you can see, this thing gets us experience. You wanna make sure you have carpet on top of the hoppers. Don't get too close, because creepers can blow up on you still. And that can, of course, cause some more problems. Oh, 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 oh. And we don't want to die to these little guys, but we'll, we'll get that fixed. Like, it will be fixed. We just have to... We just have to break the rest of these blocks. Hey. There we go. So all of those are broken. We can go ahead and place the glass. And we'll fix the hole that we just put in the, the wall, of course. But most of the items, like if you don't have your magnet on, most of the items should flow into the chest. And we should be picking up all of the beautiful loot. I can't believe during this whole build, I had so many phantoms spawning. I now have 24 of those bad boys. Yeah. Also, we're going to be getting enchanted gear and stuff that's probably going to be pretty powerful. As I'm already seeing. And you probably want to disable a magnet if you have one. So, everything else should be running very smoothly. So, let's start chopping away. By the way, with this, you're going to want to work your way to Sweeping Edge. Because that is going to be the best, best way to kill all of these mobs. Honestly, it's going to be the best way to gather experience. There's also a, an experience um, charm that you can use that will put experience right into your inventory. Really, really helpful. So trying to kill these guys that have armor and then we can check and be like hey do we have a lot of gunpowder we do now gunpowder i forgot to mention this before but you can actually make gunpowder with paper like i'm not joking right gunpowder can be made with burnt paper blocks and burnt paper blocks are literally just compressed paper <laughs> And you just cook it, and you can actually get double the blocks out of it when you smelt it. So you can technically double up for just a little bit of coal. So pretty nice, actually. But this is going to be great for getting us 
a, lar a large amount of experience to get us some more enchants on our gear. So to make this feel a little bit more like modded, well, how about we just add some diamond spikes to this and just stand here and we won't even need to use our uh, our gear. This is a yeah fake, by the way. Um, so all we gotta do is clear these guys out. I'll probably break the carpet to make that a little bit easier. Did I, did it just use my enchanted sword? It did. It used my enchanted... Oh, I should have paid attention to that. Oh, well. I can always make a new one. Well, I mean, we're really not going to need it, right? Because we're, we're about to break this and this. I hope this doesn't trap the experience. If it does, there there's a way around it. But I'm going to try my best to kill these. By the way, you could pretty much punch these guys with just your fist. And it would probably work. So these spikes, they don't seem to want to go... Wait, I just... I to say, it just acted like I just placed it, but it didn't. They don't want it. They don't seem to want to go onto the hoppers. Interesting. wonder if this is designed for something else. There it goes. It was just because there's a, a mob in the way. Okay, so yeah, once we get one place, it's probably going to be a little bit easier to place the rest. But there we go. There's that side. There's that. And that one. Now, can I gather experience? Probably not. I'm going to say... I. Okay, if I stand here, I totally do gather the experience. And are the drops making it into the hoppers? I guess we'll find out, right? And... Yep, the drops are making it into the hoppers. So... This makes it a little bit better, right? These are, this is going to be player drops and you just stand here and gather experience while you AFK. You don't even, even, you don't even need a sword. <laughs> All right, before we wrap things up, I do want to mention this will not probably work on a server unless you're the only person on the server. This is very much a vanilla, uh, not a vanilla, very much a single player mob spawner. There are mob spawners that will work on servers. This is not really one of them. It will work, but it won't work very well. Um, because, yeah, it just it just won't. So I do recommend this for a definitely a survival world. This will be perfect. Even in vanilla, this works great. So just wanted to throw that out there before people were like, oh, it doesn't work, and they're on a server with a bunch of people. So just a just an idea. So today, I want to say a huge thanks. Let's go ahead, I guess, slap this sign on here, and we'll say thanks to one of our new Patreons. And that is to Hellcat. I don't know why it adds that little character there, but let's go into Hellcat. Thank you so much, by the way. And uh, what color should we go with? Um, how about red? So poppies. You know what? Red might not be able to be seen very well, but I'm going to slap it on there anyways. I enjoy it. Um, but guys, this has been really fun. We got a lot done. We got netherite dug up. Like, we're wearing netherite armor. We have a netherite pickaxe. The gold helmet, well, that's just the way Minecraft's meta works now, so we have to deal with it, right? Anyway, it's like a crown. Consider it a crown. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, and uh, also, if you would, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Over 40% of you guys, I, that's real statistics that uh, are showing up in my analytics. Over 40% of you guys that watch are not subscribed. That's almost half of you guys. So, if you haven't already checked, check and see if you're subscribed. You may be surprised that you're not. So guys, I hope to see you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching.